you know, my grandpa for as long as I remember always said fishing was better in the rain. But I never once saw him go fishing in the rain. I would love to duck hunt right here. How quick would your limit be? I bet it'd be pretty quick. You know what? I can fish out of the rain right here under this bridge. Let's try it. It's not raining hard, but it's raining enough to be annoying. So I might fish right under this bridge. I've never fished this spot. I was thinking about holes that I can remember on the river that are a little bit deeper. And this spot right here is a very popular summer jumping bridge. So I thought, hey, probably a little bit deeper. Kids are jumping. I mean, not all kids think that through, but right behind me, we got some people working in those buildings right there, if that's you. Sorry. I see some, uh, maybe some stumps in there, but I don't know, that could be trouble. There, fish, so I can cast, hammer it. Wow, oh, got a jumper. Looks like a brown trout. Ducks are getting excited. Rightly so. Wow, look at this fish, guys. Second cast, never fished here. Nice deep hole under a swimming bridge. Come on over. And in the net you go. There we go. All right. Under the bridge, staying dry, guys. It's raining out. I mean, this guy just hammered it. Hit it hard. Got us a few nice jumps in there. Give you a little drink. All right. Nice 15, 16 inch fish. Let's get you released here. Yeah, that was fun, huh? All right. Two casts. Under a bridge. It's raining everywhere else. I'll take it. All right, what I'm using is a piece of shrimp like that on a small hook like that with a few small weights like that. Six pound test, letting it uh, kind of float through the deep end there. I'm not afraid to fish in the rain, but I am gonna melt this spot for as long as I can. Rainbow, I think. Long, skinny guy. Oh, wow. Okay, so this guy's been caught before. I thought it was my line sticking out. I was really confused. My line's out. But here, someone did what I would have done. I would have cut it a little shorter. He, uh, he swallowed somebody's line. Heavy line, too. So I'm gonna try to bite off a little bit closer. And he should, uh, he should dissolve that hook, no problem. If the people in the office right behind us probably saw me making out with that trout and they're like, who is that weirdo? Hey, I'm just trying to do the fish a favor, right? All right. I was standing in the rain for that one, but you guys were here under the bridge, staying dry. That's the kind of guy I am. Oh, Matthew. I'll get him. He took the bait without feeling any of my weight. That's a bite. Got him. Not very big. There he is. It's a little rainbow. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Tomorrow. That's tomorrow, guys. A little duck hunt plan for tomorrow. Always keep my finger on the line. Right there, see? You can feel it. 
feel it on the line before you feel it on the rod. Another little fish. A little bit bigger than the last one, I think. Maybe. Maybe I'll fight a little more anyway. One thing about these boot waders, instead of my felt bottoms, I always feel like I'm drunk. I've never been drunk in my life. But I feel like I'm drunk walking in these things on these slippery rocks. There he is. One more. One more, then we'll move. When I'm fishing a spot like this, I know there's rocks here. I'm not gonna cast upstream. I'm casting straight out in front of me and letting it float and down. And the reason is because of the rocks, if I cast up and he gets wedged, I'm stuck. Or I gotta walk up this way, hopefully, if I get stuck in the rocks, I can just pull back here a little bit. Of course, it's not the end of the world if you cast upstream. But if there's a lot of snags, then it can kind of be a pain in the butt. So they have snagged. So the weight probably slid under a rock. I pull back like that. There we go. I'm free. Well, things just got really windy. And I think our rain is turning to snow. Regardless, uh, I'm under the bridge again. Waiting for things to settle down just a touch because my hands are freezing. Can't really feel the cast. Gotta warm them up. I got gloves in the truck. Those would have been really helpful. There, fish. Oh, I was sleeping. I was thought I was snagged on a rock. Who knows if I even have a decent hook set. Oh, get in the net. There we go. I mean, who knows if I've been getting bites or not. I can't feel anything. Been going up and down this river. Up and down, up and down, trying to catch fish. And my hands are so cold. It's the thumbs. The thumbs go first, don't they? I don't know why that is. Probably some good reason, huh? That's a beautiful fish, though. Just in time, because I was just about ready to call it after that cast. There it is. Thank you, mister. What it did. Oh. I can no longer feel my hands to hold the rod, or at least not hold it very well. So I think that means it's time to go home. Quick little trip here in the Boise River with all my friends who I'll be hunting tomorrow. You guys hear that? Yeah. Hey, still fishing? Very grateful for the time to be out here. Thank you for watching, guys. You could be doing a lot of other things, but you have been so kind as to spend a little afternoon with me. Thanks for watching.